In this video, I'm going to show you how to submit your next generation sequencing data to the Gene Expression Omnibus database. So you might be asking, why do I have to submit my sequencing data to GeoDataset? Well, journals require geo accession numbers of sequencing data with your manuscript submission. And this may be because editors and uh, reviewers may need to access your data in the, during the reviewing process. There is also a National Institute of Health genomic data sharing policy in place for those who uh, generate data using NIH funding. And it is because the right thing to do. Making your data available allows other researchers to reuse your data and make new discoveries. So what to submit to Geo Expression Omnibus? You need to submit a metadata file, which is an Excel table with detailed information on the story and the files you submit. Your process data, whether it is the raw counts or the normalized counts, and the raw data, which are the FASTQ files. So how to submit data to GIF? Prepare your metadata, raw and process file. Have them ready. Create or log into your NCBI account. Complete a MyGeo profile. Transfer all your files to the GEO FTP server and notify GEO by using the Submit GEO web form. Let's see how this works in reality. First, log into my NCBI account. Just search for my NCBI. Then, let's find how to submit data to GEO. In this case, we're going to submit high throughput sequencing, so click on this link. This page is going to explain you step by step what you need to submit. So first, as I said, you need to assemble your metadata spreadsheet, process data files, and the raw data files. So you can look at each of them, and here you can download the metadata spreadsheet. This is an Excel sheet with information, detailed information on your experiment and your files. And some examples are provided. Here is an example of the metadata Excel file with information on the story and on the samples. The process data, in this case, the raw counts. And the uh, raw data as FASTQ files. Once you have those three elements ready, you can start the submission process. The first time you submit to GEO, you have to fill this uh, GEO profile with your information and then save it. We are back on the submitting high throughput sequence data to GEO page. And if you scroll down, you can see that the process consists of two steps. Step one, you transfer all your files using the GEO FTP server. And the step two, you notify GEO by filling this submission form. So let's just start transferring the files. You click here, you're going to be giving a personalized space to transfer your file and credentials on how to connect to the FTP server. So as you can see here, you're going to be given a host address, a username, and a password to connect to the server. I'm going to be connecting using FileZilla and if you scroll down the page, you're going to see that there are instructions on how to use FileZilla to connect to the FTP server. I'm going to open FileZilla and I'm going to use the instructions to connect to the FTP server. This is my computer, and this is the remote side. There is a, an error here, but if you, if you read the page, 
it says ignore this error and this is my path so as you can see now I can find my files and then I can start transferring those files to the server. Okay, now that the transfer is complete, we need to notify you about it. So let's click on notify you. And we have to select which one, about the file transfer or high throughput sequencing or about macro array. So we did high throughput sequencing. Yes, my data have finished transferring. Or if you need help, you click the other option. And here you fill the form. The submission is new. I submitted all the required three components. It's not a, an update or revision. And you can select the embargo period or release as soon as possible. So in case you select embargo period here, or you can set release right now on any other comments you want to make. And then click on submit. Right after you submit the form, you will receive an email confirming that submission. As you can see here, it says that you submitted the complete metadata, the raw data, and the processed data. Once the data has been reviewed by the geo curator, you will receive an email with the GSC number that you can use in your manuscript submission. Thank you so much for watching.